Hey, Alan here with TGG. We're at a rising star for the OTS championship with Alec. Alec, how'd you do? Uh, I made it to Top Cut. I lost first round against DDD. Uh, so what happened in the first game is that basically he zeus me and I had no way to stop Zeus. And then the next game, same thing, he had Zeus plus Red Reaver with four set back row, none of which being uh, Roar or Judgment, so that was basically the game. I decided to play a uh, Salmon Great this format just because with base and ten unit sword soul running around I need a lot of hand traps able to stop it and uh, Salmon Great does very very well with a lot of hand traps simplifying the game state so I can basically outgrind my opponent. So starting off I'm gonna I run three buffalo. Uh, there's no reason to run Lady Debug because everyone's playing a crap ton of hand traps. You'd rather want to chain block this, able to get your draw too, just to see more hand traps and just to see your trap cards as well. You just want to simplify the game state as much as possible. If you play Debug, you get hit and then you just pass turn. This you can chain block with Bay Links, so you always get it off. And then for my main deck monsters, I run three Foxy in this. Uh, once again, in this format, Foxy is always going to be alive. Even on your uh, turn, even if you don't get Sanctuary, they're most likely going to have a Fateful Adventure on the field, and Foxy will still allow you to Special Summon and then pop. And also, with Skill Drain being at 3 uh, against Eldritch, this can also get rid of Skill Drain no problem, because everything activates in the graveyard. And then I also play three spinny, you know, self-explanatory. More targets for Flame Buffalo can get into Mirage Stallio easier, and just a nice extender to have. And then the one of I have Falco, Gazelle, Fowl, and Jack Jaguar. I'll probably cut Fowl for probably like Sea Archiver. Never saw this card, never came up, never used it, probably put in something else. Uh, Jack Jaguar at one, since we're not running Pot of Desires, there's no reason to run two of it. And uh, all, since with uh, Circle being at two, which is probably going to go to three, you only need to play one. It feels bad when it gets banished, but you can still play the game. And then for my hand traps that I play, uh, run three Imperm. You know, basic, can stop uh, health, can stop a roar it on. If you draw it on your turn, you can use his interruption. Very good. And then I play three Ash. Can stop uh, Fateful, can stop a lot of cards, very flexible. And then I also play the three Nib. Mm. Nibiru is very, very good in this deck. Able just to simplify the game state as much as possible. There's many games where I just Nib and we just go into the grind game and I just keep set, set and roar, reset rage, reset roar. And then I'll also just play around Nib. I just won't go past five summons because if I can't kill him and if I can play around Nib, might as well just keep grinding. Doesn't get much more simple than a big token. Oh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and I can out the token whenever I want. <laughs> big token is never the problem. And then I also play my Driver here and my Gamma. This card, I'd probably put in the side or in the main deck. It was very awkward when I'm going first and I open this. I always thought uh, I could play this because I also play Lambda on my side. And during uh, the end of my turn, normally I'll end on Sunlight Wolf and Lambda. But most of the time, I'll get stopped before I ever get to that point. So this just really felt bad having in my hand. It just never really came up. But going second, this card did wonders. I can bait and negate, uh, sign up mining, pitching spinny. A lot of people want to negate it, so I can chain uh, driver and gamma, and then I can uh, make transcode with it, and etc. Very nice card. But I'll probably side it for now. And then I also play the two ogre. Ogre, I might bump it up to three. This card has been crazy this entire game this entire day. This card can just stop Fateful, it stops uh, Tenny, Sword Soul, uh, it's mediocre into Prank Kids, but it's still, every time I saw this, I liked it, and it did me well. And also, it's a level 3, so I can also make Mirage Stallio if need be. 
And then for my spells, I play one talent. I like talent over called by, because realistically, if they uh, ash my uh, Mir Mirage Stalio or Valor or do anything, I'd rather have the talent draw two or rip a card than actually just, you know, stopping it. Because it, it doesn't really give me anything. This will give me information on the hand. I can draw two to draw more crazy cards. And I can also, uh, on my opponent's turn, I can uh, take control of the monster. Very good card. I prefer to over called by. And then I have the two circle that you should always, it's at two, you should play it at two. There's no reason why you shouldn't play it at two. Whenever you draw it, feels good to be at two. And you you're go. probably going to put it to three, <laughs> most likely. Sanctuary, basic. Yeah. Not playing the will. I don't like Will on the turn you draw it, Will doesn't do anything. I mean, it's a nice extender, it's nice for grind, but other than that with this format, it's like, if I get Scythe Lock, Will, Will doesn't do anything. It's not going to do anything. So, right now, I don't, I'm not playing Will. And then, three sign at Mining, see Gazelle more, see your cards. Sometimes I'll actually just sign at Mining. And grab Spinny if I have Flame Buffalo in hand just to get the draw power. Just if my hand is good enough, of course. And then for my traps, the one Rage and the two Roar. I might bump Rage up to two, but I'm probably just going to keep it at one. Two Roar, I feel like, is mandatory because a lot of times you'll just uh, reset Roar and then add Rage off of the. Uh, Relink effect off of Roar. So, two should be mandatory. And then, my last Torrential. I'm probably oh. gonna bump this card up to three. This card is crazy. It's absolutely insane. Every time I've drawn it, set it, people don't expect it because you can also protect your uh, Salmon Great monsters with Torrential. So, if you Torrential, you can just protect them. It doesn't matter. It simplifies the game state more. And it's just absolutely crazy. Very good card. Then for my side deck. You wanna go into extra deck first? Oh, extra deck? Oh yeah, for sure. I should probably do that first. Uh so three valinks. You know, three valinks. Yep. Mm. Sorry about No that. problem. Three valinks. Three wolf. Standard. Everyone runs three Bay Links, three Sunlight Wolf. No comment. <laughs> uh, two Heat Leo. I was expecting to see more Eldritch, and uh, Heat Leo is great into Eldritch. You can shuffle their back row, get their engine offline, and allows the grind game uh, to be a lot easier for you. But I didn't face a single trap death at all. This card never came up, which is very weird. I thought I'd be seeing a lot more Eldritch. And then, uh, for my Exeeds, I play Mirage Thalia, Dweller. I don't think Baguska does anything this format at all. At least what I've seen in testing. Uh, Dweller is crazy. If you blind, and you can make Dweller, just make Dweller. It's just crazy. It stops a lot of decks. Uh, Prank Kids stops them in the tracks. Uh, the Tenyi, Sword Soul, Base. It does a lot of work against them. And then Stalio, you know. Mm -hmm. Self-explanatory. And then uh, running the update, the splash, the trans code, and the access code. Just standard line. Yep. Splash mage is nice because uh, even uh, if you still have gazelle and graveyard, you can activate splash mage, target gazelle, add gazelle, I mean special gazelle, and then uh, activate falco effect, target gazelle, and then you just have Gazelle online again. It's a very nice card. And then, you know, OTK, go burr. Yes, yeah, sir. Whatever you can. <laughs> you, If you know everything, normally just go for this. End it. Very nice. And then for my last card, Lambda. Mm. Probably going to cut this for maybe uh, number 60, Dugaris. Just to see more cards, see more trap cards and whatnot, but this hasn't came up all that much. Uh, one of my games, I made this and I was playing around 
Nibiru, but then I realized I'm locked out of transcode talkers, so mm. I was very... I, I couldn't get to a wait to kill him. And then next turn, he just went battle and swing, swung over this, so mm. not the greatest. And then for my side deck here, uh, back row hate, cosmic, cosmic, twin. Uh, Salad has a great matchup into grind games, so don't want to play too much back row hate. Uh, cosmic and twins are for like fateful. Uh, I sided these in against DDD, didn't see them to stop the dark contract and whatnot. I didn't feel like there was a need to add much back row hate, so. I Outs the scythe three. too. Yeah, the scythe as well. Very nice. Um, and then, uh, for got the two judgments and the torrential. Mm. Uh, I'm probably gonna play strikes in the main deck, just because with the torrential and the strike and then the beer, there's so many ways to say, yeah, no, you're done, <laughs> done with your turn. So that much beats torrential strikes. Yeah, and yeah. Probably, nothing you can do. Yeah, I'll probably add a third judgment, more. Uh, back row protection and it can also stop fateful very good card uh, and then going second cards evenly matched this card is crazy never saw it once when i sided it but with the fateful uh engine now you can't banish a token face down so they have to banish the uh, everything else but the token i didn't actually know that that's yeah, wild <laughs> that is you wild imperm or Imperm in hand, and you just do that. Oh, it's just devastating! Wow. And then for my other hand traps, I run the third ogre for you know, tenny sword soul, fateful stuff. And then I play the two Lancia, only three. Uh, never side the sin, never had a need to, never faced virtual world or PK. I know that there is players, but I just didn't face them, so I didn't need to side the sin at all. Hmm. Uh, and then my last three, Droll and Lockbird, never sided it in, thought I'd face some bird players, uh, no Flunderese players here, at least to my knowledge, so never really had a good chance to side this in, only time I sided it in was against Cyber Dragon, but still lost that match, unfortunately, <laughs> huh. and that's about it. That's my deck profile. Yeah, thanks, Alec, and uh, you know, good luck in your next tournaments. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Good Thank you. you.